New Box TV. Tanzania ni moja ya nchi inayozidi kuwakuza na kuwapa vipaumbele wanawake katika sekta mbalimbali. Mbali. Tunaona wanawake wanafanya biashara, wanawake wajasilia mali, wabobezi katika ujuzi mbalimbali, mbali. lakini pia tunaona viongozi hasa wakiwakilishwa na Rais wa Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania Dr. Samia Suluh Hassan. Kufuatiwa yoyote tunamuona Dr. Tulia Axon akiwania uraisi wa umoja wa mabunge la dunia IPU ambapo uchaguzi wake unafanyika siku ya leo. Dr. Tulia aliteuliwa mwanzoni mwa mwezi wa tano mwaka huu kuwania nafasi hiyo na iwapo atatoa wadhifa huo atakuwa mwanamke wa kwanza kuliongoza bunge hilo lenye nchi wanachama 179 na wabunge 175 wanawakilisha nchi zao. Akiwa anaomba kura ameeleza wadhifa wake, uzoefu na ubobezi wake katika uongozi na uwezo alionao katika kutatua matatizo mbalimbali. Mbali. Huku akisitiza ni namna gani ataenda kuboresha uhusiano ndani ya chama hicho na uchumi kwa nchi ya wanachama. Aidha Dr. Tulia anaeleza kuwa vipaumbele vyake ni kuhakikisha changamoto za dunia zinakoma, kuimarisha amani, kuhakikisha wanawake na vijana wanakuwa sehemu ya maendeleo na uongozi. Speaker of the National Assembly of Tanzania. I am a lawyer, an advocate, and I have a PhD in law. I served, I served as the Deputy Attorney General of the United Republic of Tanzania at the age of 38, and I also became Deputy Speaker of the National Assembly of Tanzania at the same age. And until last week, I was the president of the Africa Geopolitical Group in the IPU. I'm humbled by the endorsements made in support of my candidature from the East African community, the Southern African Development Community, and the African Union. Colleagues and friends, I'm acutely aware of the weight of responsibilities of the office and multiple challenges that the world is facing today, ranging from the effects of climate change, interstate conflicts, poverty, and the threats of peace and security that have wide-ranging ramifications for developed and developing countries alike. I am confident, however, that if I'll be elected as president, I will have you, colleagues, to work together with in shouldering these responsibilities. From the time I became one of the leaders of IPU, I have had the opportunity to collaborate with you to realize IPU's shared values of peace, justice, tolerance, respect, and solidarity. My participation in IPU meetings and other activities has given me a deep and clear understanding of its vision, mission, and the role it plays in the world. As, as the immediate past president of the Africa Geopolitical Group in the IPU, I'm proud of our, our contribution towards achieving the objectives of the IPU, especially in addressing the challenges facing the world with a view of ensuring sustainable development. The knowledge and experience I have gained over the years has elevated my leadership skills to the next level. This has given me the urge to vie for the top leadership of our institution. It is with deep sense of humility that I stand before you to request for your total trust and support for my candidature for the position of President of IPU. Dear colleagues and friends, my vision is to work with all member parliaments of the IPU to align our organization with the fast changing realities of our world. In that regard, if elected, I will have a number of priorities that, I'll be I, that I believe will be key in making our organization work effectively for its membership. Transparency and accountability will therefore be, be at the forefront of my leadership in this dynamic world, IPU must be relevant to its membership and the world in general. We will therefore 
work with its members to initiate reforms that will contribute to peaceful coexistence and global prosperity. In realizing this vision, it is necessary to ensure effective participation and representation of all geopolitical groups in the organs of the IPU. It will therefore be critical that we undertake regular consultations within and between geopolitical groups. If I become P IPU president, I will champion equitable representation in national parliaments with a particular focus on women, youth, and other marginalized groups. Ubox TV. Ubox TV. We empower the future.